Today I want to talk about Giovanna. It's been a couple months since I made my last guide for her and especially in season 2 there's a lot of things that were left unanswered. So I would like to give you guys a full guide now on how exactly to play Giovanna in this season as well as also give you some tips and tricks to all the buffs and nerfs. So without further ado, let's get right into training mode. When it comes to Giovanna's round start, the things that I have seen work the most is to use 2k, 5k, 6p, 5h, 2d, and walking back or jumping upwards. Those are the like tried and true options that you can use with Giovanna basically around start every single time. And I'll explain to you why exactly they're good and for what reason. The safest option in my opinion is to use 2k. The reason why it's, it's a frame six low poke, it, it is is basically a tried and true to use. The way I like to use 5k and 2k actually is to not use them standing but use them dashing. And I will show you why. So if you dash with Giovanna, you have an auto cancel window immediately after. So what you can do is if you're quick enough, you can do a dash 5k before the opponent presses any like frame 9 or 10 plus button and you can beat them for it. So for example, you can do dash 5k, 6p, 214k and then you get a safe jump. That does 97 damage and they're exactly where you want them to be, which is in the corner. And you have a guaranteed safe jump there every time. The same thing applies to 2k. So those are like your tried and true options. 5H also works, but it's basically a worse 5K slash 2K. They do fall into a hard knockdown, but you do not get a safe jump. So for example, if I will do this right here, there'll be no way for me to get anything other than just a double dash and then either I get a throw, a strike, a bait, whatever really, right? So with these, you have actual options of just having pressure there right off rip. And you also can break the wall pretty early if you want positive bonus. So I would like you to look at the bar at the bottom left, right? Which is Giovanna's tension bar. I had her set to 50 originally. These two interactions alone gave us almost full meter, which is really, really important. The other one is 2D, which you use to beat other things like round start 2K, 6P, like whatever, like wouldn't really reach Giovanna at round start. So whatever would like clash basically, like 2K will clash with 2K, 6P will clash with 6P, like stuff like that. Like where they're trying to like get an option out. That's what it's really good for. The other two options are walking back, and walking back is usually a similar principle where you try to get a whiff punish. So if Kai would do like 2k around start for example, or like a a anything else, let's just have him set up to do like 6p at round start. And I walk back, I am actually able to get the turn really quickly from that, right? And I can punish him. Obviously I can't RC him right here, but like you do, you do get the point. So there are options right here that you can use actively against that. Uh, the other one is jumping up and it is usually to avoid like very like committal buttons. For example, Rambler Falls Forest Slash would be a great example for that because it's hard to stop it if you walk back for example or if you dash 2k and they walk back it, it could be a problem for you. So that's like a good way of dealing it. But yeah, basically round start you just use like the safe buttons that you always use. This is really nothing new. But let's talk about the neutral which actually changed a lot. And the reason the neutral did change a lot is because of the dashes. So there's three different types of dashes with Giovanna now, which is one the short burst dash which you can just walk back on and it will, it will stop at a certain distance. Very very short distance. The other one is a regular dash which if you just press nothing, this is pretty much how far you get. The last one is a long dash where you hold forward at the same time. And you see how you get like a, a bit further there than, than beforehand. So ultimately the reason why these are very important is because you basically are threatening strike throw and neutral consistently. And how do you do this exactly? Well with the short dash, you see how I'm able to dash in and walk back. Your opponent doesn't really know if you're going to send the full dash or not. So it is basically a mix up every single time in neutral. Am I going to fully dash in and then go back because you could throw for example or, or something of that nature. So let's have let's have Kai set to like throw real quick right around start. I know this isn't fully realistic but you see how like I'm dashing backwards here to not get hit right like in theory I would not get hit. And that's what will allow me to get a counter hit right here. And the counter hits with Geo are very very strong. Very strong. As you can see from this one tiny conversion I got 232. Just because of a throw whiff right here because the opponent wasn't sure what to do. So this is like one of the examples how it can be amplified now where it's like you can dash in and they're like oh I'm scared I'm scared I'm, I'm gonna try to throw you're gonna try to throw like they start pressing a button and then you 6p them on dash like you like go back and you 6p dash whatever right so or you whiff punish them for it like so you have like a lot of options here that you can actively use in order to combat it and um, the other thing that's really strong is if your opponent does whiff punish from like a longer length like, like mid range you can just dash in and throw Within the, within the forward dash. You can just dash in and get a free throw and you get your pressure off. The other thing that, that you can use here, which is just regular neutral, is dash 5k and dash 2k, just like a round start, they're really, really strong because they just give you a guaranteed 
pressure setup right here. They basically are a win condition if you have meter. The other one is to use dash cold slash. And this happens when they stop like trying to throw you and they just start blocking. Like for example, I would press 5H and then block and another Giovanna would dash in and instead of throwing, they would press cold slash. So they could get like their pressure going instead of going for a throw immediately. Especially if they're not sure. So if you would back dash, you would get hit. But yeah, ultimately, again, uh, how you how you use your dash now is you try to bait options out and you try to play neutral as clean as you can in order to get meter and to push them into the wall because this is where it gets important. So let's talk about the pressure, which is the actual important part, which has changed the most. So let's go over that. Let's have Kai actually crouch real quick and go over what Giovanna's new pressure layers are and how they abuse them. The way to, to use pressure now is to have more stop pressure. What does stop pressure essentially mean? It's basically when you stop right before a special or you just set advantage basically over and over. So what that would mean is close slash into close slash into close slash, which would be a reset, close slash into 2S and then 2K, 2D for example. Like basically what you're doing is you're stopping a Gatlin combination from happening. And the reason why is to avoid the moves that they could throw at you during those pressure situations. So the biggest hurdle for Giovanna right now in pressure is 6P. You will not get around it. Every special that Giovanna does actively lose to 6P at the same time. So let me just go ahead and do that. 2 for 6K loses, 2 1 for S loses, 6 to 3 loses as well, and 2 1 for K loses if you time it a bit too delayed. If you get that, as you can see, you, you do get like a full counter hit situation here happening, which is a lot of damage, but again, uh, like you saw how many times I actively failed here. So what can you do to combat 6P, you ask? Well, I got you. This is where the resetting pressure comes in. Because here, you can, you can reset everything. Boom, 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 boom. And as you can see right here, you can... 2k 2d or like do like something else and basically what this means is you have to play a lot more around ranges and what those ranges allow you to do is to get more plus frames essentially like mental plus frames where your opponent has to do certain other things so let's have him do for example 2k right because that's how your opponent can beat that situation so if i would do 2k right here you see how i got hit right it's because i wasn't positioned properly so right here like 2 for k wins against 2k obviously like it's very easy for it to win. But let's say for example, I would assume my opponent would try the 6P, right? So we'll try the 2K. And you saw what happened right there, right? I positioned myself properly in order to punish it. And what that allows you to do is to get a free wall break like this. So there are ways to get damage from Geo again. There are active ways to, to gain damage in pretty much any situation. Because right here what I would do is nothing, nothing different from 2 one k It's just a different pressure layer. And as you can see, right here I get more damage because it's obviously a countered situation, which is 239. But, this right here is not bad at all. I get 205 damage from it, plus chip damage. That's really, really good, especially if you're resetting pressure over and over again. Let's, for example, say your opponent doesn't want to press as much, right? And you would reset pressure. So you would do 2k, 2k, 2d, and then they would try to press 6p against it, right? And then you would try to pressure them. So let's literally have him not on guard. Now I'm going to do the 5k string right here. And now out of 204 damage, already 216. And the list goes on and on essentially. Like you can do this for as long as you want. But, but ultimately, like the way you get around it now is besides just all like the mix ups of like strike throw and whatnot, this is just another layer you have to add to your pressure now. And it's really important that you do because it is really, really strong. In the low situations, you actually do more damage than you're supposed to. So for example, let's have him crouch right here, and I would do 2k because of the 2k counter hits, right? And he would try the 2k to escape, for example, so crouching 2k. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do what my old best meterless conversion was, right? Which is close slash, and then afterwards you just do 2s into 5h to 1 for k. That's 109 damage, right? So now what I'm gonna do is this. I'm going to do a dash in 2k or a dash in 5k, and you will see how much damage I'm getting off of this now. That's 209! That's a hundred more as earlier. So like, obviously in like a situation like 2 one 4k, 5k wouldn't, wouldn't do like more damage, right? But it would still do pretty good damage. And in this situation, it even does more than it's supposed to. 
So for example, right here, let's, let's take 5H for example, right? 5H right here, the best one is 185. Now let's do the same thing right here with positioning myself properly. It's more! It's 201 now! So you, you can get more off of like a lot of the pressure layers now as you used to and it's pretty much equal if not better damage. And also with like pressure resets in general, if you do dash 5k now, you get a whole like close slash conversion. Which is really strong because again, if you do it right, you can set it up to just wall break whenever you feel like it. Which does a lot of damage, especially if you have super. If you have bar right here. Look how much damage I can do from this. That's 247! Like, holy shit! That's so much! And not only that, it also sets up for so much other stuff because then your opponent will be too afraid to press sometimes, right? And they will have to commit to other things like dashing in with 2k, dash 6p, like basically just, you're just gaining frames over and over and over again over time. So this is really, really strong on pressure. So again, like the overall game plan now is instead of only doing like your regular strike throw pressure, which is like, oh, I will strike, I will throw, and then I will do my basic mix right here, boom, 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 boom. Uh, you can you can get more things happening now, which is really really strong. Like I love the counter hit changes for Geo. They have been so so helpful. They really have been. And when it comes to using meter, you can actually set this up even further because you can get like super conversions, right? So let's for example do the same pressure layer again, and they're going to press 2K. Now, if you have bar, this is a whole different ballpark. But look at how much damage you get now off of this. That's a lot of damage. And if you're really confident, we'll hit. You can just super right away. So the R means to your end here. Like, you can ultimately, like, get a lot here if you really want to. When it comes to actually using other specials with Giovanna, so like that you don't only like use this pressure for resets, you can actually space yourself pretty well with 2 1 for S. So the move that everyone's been complaining about, which is now bad, is actually really, really good, and I'll show you why. So for 2K, for example, what you could do here is you can position yourself at the end of it. So you can get a little bit further away, like if you're, for example, already dashed in a little bit. You could reset pressure like this, and then then the two one for K, a uh, two one for S. Sorry, and you can position yourself here perfectly, and then you can go for a dash if you don't press anything, and then you can get your resets here. So there is there is like merits to your end, but let's talk about some other stuff as well because this isn't like the only thing on pressure you can really do. When it comes to throws, pretty much there's a lot of frame traps that you can do. For example, this right here is really strong. Uh, it's just close slash frame kill five H close slash. It's basically a meaty. Which means they can't really do anything. They can't jump out, they can't backdash, they can't mash. The only thing they can do is either hold, is hold. And a lot of these are happening now, right? Where you can press like 2P, close slash, same deal. You can press 2K, and then you can go for a close slash, for example. But this one in particular is really strong because it just locks your opponent down. And what that does, it allows you to throw again a couple times. So 1, 2, throw. You can do it again, one, two, throw, until they start pressing something, right? And you can slowly chip away at them, and then you can get a 50-50 and end the game. So, like, there's a lot of stuff here that you can do now on pressure. Mid-screen, it's uh, pretty much the same deal that you try to do, you just try to avoid it. It's even easier on mid-screen, though, because you have a lot more space to work with. So you can do things, like, from here, and then you can, you can go ahead and move again. And you also get pushed back a little bit further, so there's more space for you to actively do something, you know? But usually, like, your pressure will end up in the corner anyway due to 5k. Like, if you if you ever hit something in neutral, like 5k, and we put him a little bit further back, 1, 2, 3, like, you see how close he is to the corner already? Like, there, there, will, there will likely almost never be a moment when you're truly full screen. And there will always, always be a moment when you can just super. So there are ways to deal with uh, Giovanna's new issue. But yeah, like overall, that's, that's basically like how pressure is supposed to work for her. Uh, again, with meter, you can get even more in terms of conversions, but that's how I usually approach pressure. Defense didn't really change, to be quite honest. I think the only way it really did change was with the counter hits. Like if you had a counter hit now, you can get out easier. So for example, do a force counter hit right here. You can do this. 
right? To get out, which is easy. Or you can you can do that. Doom, doom, doom. Like it's easy to get out now. Uh, the I think I think the real game changer here is 2K into 2D though, because if you do get a hit here on counter hit and you get out, you get a guaranteed safe jump, and then you can decide whether you want to cross up or not. Like you have a lot of options here essentially. You can do like for example, you can do this, and then if you have meter, you know you could you could turn around right here, side switch whatever you want, which usually wouldn't be possible because you wouldn't have enough time to react. So right here, if I would do this, this is like automatic. Like I can't react to the counter hit, but here you you can clearly like already do it preemptively and see it, and then you can choose what you want to do with it. As you can see right here, you can turn around the situation really easily now on defense, which is nice with the counter hits. But overall, it didn't really change too much. Your main approach to get out is still 2k and, and 2p overall, or back throwing your opponent if you can. I would just be really careful when it comes to dashing towards your opponent nowadays, because dash blocking has gotten worse due to the dash st stopping earlier. Like, you can't just like go all the way in and then expect to be able to block. I, I think, I think honestly, your defense is, is fine. It's not really anything too crazy, but it's also like still pretty solid. Uh, defense is like a whole topic on its own, like very character dependent, so it won't really make all too much in this guide. The only other thing I really do want to give you is Giovanna's wing condition now. So Giovanna does actually have wing conditions in this game now. One of them being meter, and I think meter is honestly the biggest one, because if you do have 100 meter, for example, for a counter hit or anything, like I described earlier, with like throw teching or any of that, what you will get is very, very strong combos. For example, right here, I'm gonna have my opponent try to throw me after block, right? And I will show you how much you can truly get off of 100 meter with Giovanna. This combo was not even optimal. I could have probably killed here if I really wanted to. Do you see now why this, why, why meter on Giovanna is strong? And there's a lot of other things that come into this. For example, you can also like get a little damage from pressing 2 one for k now because 2 one for k gets opened up, right? And you also have chip damage now. So, like, pretty, pretty much everything that Geo does accelerates with having meter. The damage accelerates, like the way mix-ups work accelerate because you can do stuff like this. You can get a guaranteed high low right here. Stuff like that. Like like meter is very, very important. So overall what you should try to do at low at low health and low meter is to try to just get meter as fast as you can, either in neutral or whatever. And uh, as soon as you do have that and opponents are at low HP, there's a lot of things you can do to mix them up. So for example, let's say my opponent is at 20% health. Uh, first of all, what happens is the chip damage adds up to it. So if you do get a counter hit, it's even easier to kill and to bait your opponent to something. Uh, the other thing is just mix-ups are just way stronger because right here you get a mix. And then you're just able to kill because of it, right? Like, which usually wouldn't really be all too possible. One, two, three, boom, boom. Like, like stuff like that. Like, meter basically is just a way to just end it all, essentially, if you do have it. Right? So you can do this. Brawl. 5D. You can you can try to make this, like, as burst save as you can in some situations. Like, meter is essentially really, really strong for this character. The more meter you have, the better with Geo. The mix-ups are really strong for her. Because, again, your opponent can't really do all too much against them. They're guaranteed 50-50s. Throws are a lot stronger, too, because if somebody backdashes... You still have the possibility of PRCing, so you can catch them for it, and all of that. But yeah, that's basically it for my guide for Season 2 Giovanna. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. But anyway, without further ado, you guys have a good one. Take care. Bye.